Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to talk about JPEG and HEIC. These are two kinds of compression algorithms and I want to compare them together. Let's get started. Okay, let's talk about JPEG and HEIC compression. So when we talk about compression, here's the core idea. Your eyes care more about brightness than precise color. So image formats like JPEG and HEIC reduce how much color info they store but keep brightness sharp and detailed. Think of this, imagine you're painting a photo by hand. For brightness, light and dark, you're super careful. You use a very fine brush and lots of shading. But for color, you like, eh, close enough. You paint larger areas with rougher colors. That's color compression or just compression. You blur the color a little to save time and space, but keep the light dark details sharp because that's what people notice the most. But how does it work in an actual image? Every pixel has three values, red, green, and blue. Before compression, JPEG and HEIC convert those to Y, which is brightness, and UNV, which is color information. And then they store Y in full resolution, but UNV in lower resolution. This means you're keeping light dark details sharp, but color gets blurred slightly, and most people won't notice. Let's now break down JPEG versus HEIC compression. JPEG is like a photo from the early 2000s. It works by chopping the image into little blocks 8x8 eight eight squares, then tries to simplify what's inside each block. It blurs the color a little bit, smooths out detail, and then throws away parts of the image it thinks you won't notice, especially tiny color differences. The result will be a smaller file, but if you zoom in, you might see weird blocks bending in the sky or smudgy edges. HEIC, on the other hand, is the modern version of JPEG. It uses a smarter math and newer technology. Instead of working in tiny blocks, it looks at the image more globally. It's better at predicting patterns and doesn't need to throw away as much. It still compresses color, but more gently and intelligently. That means the image stays sharper, gradients look smoother, and it uses less space. Often half the size of a JPEG for the same quality. Okay, let's go to Python to show you the codes that I have prepared for this video. Okay, here is an example code in which I'm going to show you some example compression. This is where I'm going to be changing the image to the YUV. Of course, first you have to import the necessary libraries. And then this is YUV to RGB. These are actually sRGB, but we just call them RGB for now. And here is where we're going to be compressing UV. As you can see, we keep the Y, and then we're going to be reducing the size of the UNV, the color information, or the chrominance channels. And then I'm going to be making the original image by combining the full resolution Y with the smaller resolution of UNV. This is where we're going to be reading the image. And then I'm going to be showing you guys all the channels as well, the chrominance and the luminance channel. And here is where I'm going to be doing some visualization for you guys. Let me run this and show you guys what I mean. So as you can see here, this is the original image, this is the luminance channel or brightness, and then this is the color channel. So in the first one, no compression has been applied to the image. And then in the second one, we have compressed the color information. But as you can see, the image hasn't changed that much, which shows our ability to discount the compression in color information. So in the second row, I have compressed the color information twice as much as the first one. And then here, I have compressed the color information four times as much. And you could see that the quality of the image hasn't changed that much, if you compare these images, the color images. And then in the last row, I have compressed the color information eight times as much. And you could see that the quality of the image hasn't changed that much yet. This shows our insensitivity to the color information compression. You could see here again. Comparing these images, the quality of the image hasn't changed that much. Anyway, this was just an example to show you how the color compression works. And then here I have another code using which you could convert HEIC to JPEG. This is a very simple code. You first import the necessary libraries. And then here is where the HEIC image is located. And here is where the JPEG image is going to be saved to. And output format is going to be JPEG. And if the output directory doesn't exist, the program is going to make the output directory itself. You first register the HEIC plugin using the pillow library. And then you just loop over all the HEIC images and convert them one by one to JPEG. 
So as you can see, you first get the path and then the name of the file. And then this is where you're going to be saving it into the output path using the name of the image and also the output path that we have specified above. And then this is where we're going to be opening the HEIC image. And then we're going to be making it ready to be converted. And then here is where the conversion is going to be complete. Then we're going to be saving the image. So here the HEIC image format is not the same as the JPEG. It might have alpha or it might be 10 bits. So we change it to RGB so that we could convert it to JPEG, which is what JPEG needs. And then if anything goes wrong, like there was an error or the format was wrong, so this one is going to show us that there was an error so that we could go back and see what the error was. I have already run this code and I'm going to show you the result. So this was the result. This was the HEIC image. And then this was the output JPEG. Let's examine HEIC and JPEG more closely. I'm going to zoom into the image. Let's zoom in here. Let me open the HEIC now. Okay, this is the JPEG and this is HEIC. This is the same spot as you can see. You could see that the JPEG has more artifact as you can see here. But HEIC is not the same. You could see like the color is not exactly the same either. HEIC has a more saturated color, more vibrant. And also there are less artifacts on the edges. But you could see more artifacts here. Do you see these artifacts? But the same thing is not true for HEIC as you can see here. So you could see that HEIC has a higher quality. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and also found it helpful. If you liked it, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your friends. Thank you so much and have a nice day.